what should be the breadth of road or highway? Hello, my name is Isil Khan and in this episode, we are talking about the size determination of carriageway or pavement. A carriageway or a roadway consists of a breadth of road on which a vehicle is not restricted by any physical barriers or separation to move literally. The breadth of carriageway depends on the breadth of traffic lane and number of lanes. Similarly, the breadth of traffic lane depends on the breadth of vehicle and clearance at sides and at the center of roadway. Because side and center clearance improves the operating speed and safety of road traffic. Remember, according to IRC specifications for carriageway breadth, the maximum permissible breadth of a vehicle is 2.44 meters and the desirable side clearance for single lane traffic is 0.68 meters. Which if you add these three parameters, the required minimum of lane width is 3.8 meters, which is normally taken as 3.75 meters per a single lane road. So per a single lane road, the minimum road breadth should be 3.75 meters. However, this can be different per a two lane road. Like in case of two lane road, the side clearance required is about 0.53 meters on both sides and 1.06 meter in the center. Therefore, a two lane road requires minimum of 3.5 meter per each lane, which can be 7 meter if you work it per two lanes. The carriageway breadth recommended by IRC are given in the following table for different type of lanes. I have taken this table from IRC specifications for carriageway width. According to the table, the width of carriageway should be 3.75 meter per a single lane road. For a double lane road, if it does not have any curves on side, the carriageway should be 7 meters. For two lane with rising curves, the carriageway width should be 7.5 meters. For intermediate carriageway, 5.5 meters is required. For multi lanes, the carriageway should be 3.5 meters. Remember, all values shown in the table for carriageway breadth are only in case when the road or highway is in straight line. What if the road does have horizontal curves in there? Of course, in that case, we provide extra width of pavement. On horizontal curves with radius up to 300 meters, breadth of pavement and roadway will be increased as per below table. I have taken this table from IRC specifications. And finally, let me show you how we did this work in our project. When I was student of BTEC at 8th semester, of course we have done this project. The geometric design and estimation of Chagdarra bypass. So we have designed the bypass. And let me show you how we did the uh, breadth determination for our bypass. And I believe this work should be on page 64. So I'll type 64 over here and let's navigate over there. Yes, it should be over here. And let me just uh, go a little up over here. Yes, this one. The road sectional elements. And the elements, if you look to the assembly or proposed section, this is just the uh, two lane section. Or you can say the bypass is two lane road. And let me go a little down over here. Yes, this one. Double lane width. If you look over here, the maximum width of vehicle is taken is 2.44 meters per our bypass, right? And the side clearance on both sides is taken 0.53 meters. And we have also assumed the central distance is 1.06 meter. So the total should be the summation of all these guys, which means 2.44 plus 2.44 these are two lanes, that's why we are adding these guys is 2.44 two times, right? Or you can say 2.44 times 2, that's also same, plus 0 0.53 plus 0 0.53 because we have side clearance on both sides, plus 1.06, that's just the central distance, or the clearance per the center. If you add these guys together, we'll get of course 7.0 meters as the total carriageway width or breadth. But if you look a little below, we have provided the carriageway width as 8 meters, which is of course little huge video or uh, a little uh, maximum video. I mean the calculated video is less than our provided video. And that's of course done and we have done this 
but the future planning and safety that's why we have provided little maximum video than our calculated video right so the wet up or bypass is 8 meter however it should be 7 meters if you calculate with respect to the specification of IRC and that's it this is how we did or how we determine the road weight or the bypass weight for our project. Thank you dears for watching. See you next time. Hello, salam.